Uh oh. What are they doing? Okay, they're not risking it. Or maybe they are. <sighs> Probably wrong to flash here. Nice, we got this Crank's Flash. Okay, that auto was unnecessary. But yeah, we got this Crank's Flash, which uh, should invite our jungler to gank early. <laughs> Hello, my fellow misfortunates, and welcome to another solo queue game on my Platinum Smurf. Uh, we're on our way <laughs> to Diamond on this account as well. So... Um, Man, I mean Misfortune, definitely a very strong build, because uh, you can itemize very f flexibly if you don't um, limit yourself to crit items, which is a bad idea in my opinion. I think I Bloodthirster and Death Stance are by far superior, but we need to respect their uh, all-in potential, so we need to sit back. I'm definitely playing for the late game. I'm not interested in fighting in the lane phase, especially with Kull. Yeah. It's a Draven. Here's win condition. <clears throat> is to kill us early and snowball. My win condition is to um, get my man immune, start stacking it safely, and uh, win the late game. So this is what we're playing for. It was a good crit and Lux binding. Nice. Yeah, we're getting them quite low. Wow, okay. <laughs> Getting Blitzcrank low is very valuable, because now he can't really engage without um, risking death. Wow, got all of them. Nice. Even in CS. And we have health advantage. Okay, we have potion advantage. Blitzcrank. Um, obviously got potions in his inventory. Well, not anymore, but you know. He used them. And again, just farming. I will talk about the entire item build uh, as soon as I have a non-stressful moment, but I really want to play this perfectly here. Ah, oh, speaking of which... Instantly missing two minions. With that many casters, it's quite difficult because... Uh, they have burst damage. Should get these though. Nice, okay. Shaco top lane. So actually I should have kept my ward and placed it in like 30-ish seconds because when he's top lane there's no chance he can spot lane. Logic. Oh, yikes. I'm also very careful with walking forward. Because I don't want to risk anything stupid. Again, by just going even in lane, we win. Oof, close. Shaco might be bot lane, or not bot lane, but bot side, farming his bot side jungle. But the way is pushing towards us, so we can sit under tower and farm for a while. He's hex flashing, yeah. He hex flashed into this bush, or okay, he didn't. Need to be careful though. Mm, I don't think they're doing Drake, but it's it doesn't hurt to check for sure. Especially 1v2, I need to be extra careful, but um Yeah, I'm playing far enough back, I'm sitting under tower essentially. Respecting their zones of influence. When Blitzcranks, Hookers on cooldown, I can be a little bit more aggressive, but not 1v2. Oh, 
There we go. I'm not sure if I needed to heal Lux there, but I'm not taking chances against Draven. Slightly behind in CS now. Ooh, nice. I saw too late. I, um... I was staring at the minion wave for some reason. I should have reacted sooner. Had this been closer, this might have made a difference. So always, you need to always move when something like that happens. Obviously, you need the map awareness to do that, which I lacked here, but um, just so you know, you need to instantly start moving. You need to get into the habit of uh, looking at my minimap more frequently, even when pushed in. I tend to neglect this when I'm under my tower, because I think I can't do anything anyway, but this is not true, as we just saw. We should definitely push one more wave. Nice. Since Draven stayed, I want to stay myself. Lux can base to match Blitzcrank's base. But I, well, I would be sitting on tier plus pickaxe, which is not a good power spike. Nice, this is good. Now I can actually get my mana immune. Okay, yeah, I can sell triple biscuit and um, one potion. And I get this under tower so quickly that Draven will miss most of that CS. And all of a sudden, we have a nice advantage going. Might as well start stacking tier already. But now upgrade it. Waiting for the gold. Just in case you don't know this, but selling biscuits um, still gives you the max mana from the rune. You still gain 50 mana for each biscuit consumed or sold. It doesn't make a difference. And yeah, now we start getting strong. Draven obviously also has quite a bit of items. That's 60 AD he just bought. Uh, and we bought, I mean, we bought similar amounts of AD. 52. And we can spam spells to our heart's desire. But the main thing is, last hitting on a tower is not super easy. Rest of the map is also going fine. So yeah, we're definitely looking forward to playing the long game. It's very unlikely we get stomped early. Ulti in 20 seconds. Yeah, we can just make it rain for good measure. We do have the mana. Alright, Lux getting grabbed is a little bit misfortunate. <laughs> but it's okay. Echo got us quite low, but we got heal. And Blitzcrank does not have Ignite. So I don't think we can be Dove. Good dragon. I can actually ult the next wave. For extra pressure again. Just shoving that six minions instantly under tower makes it so Draven misses more experience and farm. 
You see, I'm already level 8, Draven's still level 7, because um, of the two waves I shoved in without him getting anything. Um, control ward, yeah. Okay. Perfect. And now I actually have sustain. Draven has a bloodthirster, so I'm not going to 1v1 him, but this is also not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to scale into the late game. And Draven can't do that. Well, he can to some extent, he's still an AD carry, but he scales significantly worse than most other AD carries, and way worse than a man, I mean, Misfortune, for sure. Okay. I need to let the tower fall, if nobody comes. Maybe not let it fall, but you know. It's a fishy spot here. I lost my flash. Oh god, why did I stay? Ah, uh, okay, I, I didn't respect the dive. For some reason. I, I was... I had the presence of mind, no pun intended, uh, the first time and flashed away. But then, uh, and I even said, when in doubt, just let the tower fall. But so then I just went full greedy mode, or frustration mode rather, and didn't want to give it. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. This could have been way better. Now Draven, uh, well, he is already snowballing because he get uh, he got to cash in against Lux. But now he's back into in the game, definitely. That was super unnecessary. Without my ulti, there's no way I can defend this. And also without healing reduction, Draven can dive me anytime with Bloodthirster. I need Executioner's Calling. Okay, so about the build. Um, wait, first of all, I'm, I need to focus so I don't get ambushed. Okay, we see Draven, we don't see Blitzcrank though. So about the build, you typically go... Man immune, uh, Bloodthirster, Death's Dance, and then Mortal Reminder. In this matchup, I want an early Executioner's Calling. For Draven, mainly. But the build stays the same. Yeah, this should be a kill. Perfect. Right, let's take down one more wave. I can't help her. Except with E. Yeah, nothing I can do. Oh, the carelessness. Okay, Nocturne gets his ulti in a few seconds, so if they try to dive me, they die. And they will try to dive me, I know them. But this is going to be perfect. Trust me. Okay, now mid lane's missing, now they are probably not going to... Ooh. Sure. Nice. Perfect. That was very stupid of them. They knew mid lane was missing, and they know we have a Nocturne. But hey, the greed. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we don't know where Shaco is, but um, bot lane is dead, so I think this is free enough. It's not like this build is pushing towers super fast, but uh, any damage is important. Botlin's back. Let's ward up the entire area. I like it. Drake is spawning in 10. Ah, uh, maybe I should base, though. I'm not sure. Or they are hard pushing, so I just return to... I can't even. Oh, wait, I can. Draven is not reacting. There's going to be a grab here. Okay, maybe not.
Oh no, why didn't... It's always the same, I don't respect the Blitzcrank. There's no reason for me to heal, I'm dead anyway. I even knew he was in the area, same mistake twice. I died to the same mistake two times in a row. <laughs> One could assume I'm learning, but apparently I'm not. I mean, we're still doing fine. My mana immune is uh, fairly stacked. I will transform it at minute 23, approximately. And that's good enough, definitely. Wait, I can get this. Perfect. Now I actually can fight Draven, if I'm not outnumbered, that is. But yeah, with healing reduction, his Bloodthirster suddenly becomes way worse. Nice, good Drake. Try to keep the farm high. I'm not losing minions mid lane too. Oh well, now I am, but you know, at least Nico gets them. And uh, we're approaching 20 minutes. At this time in the game, coup de grace typically does very little. So I'm definitely happy to go for cut down here, or to, to have picked cut down. Is she fine? No, she's not. We can't fight this. All of them are mid lane. But I can defend with my ulti. That was a stupid grab. I'm sorry everyone, I'm really not... Uh, not playing well this game. I'm just not respecting Blitzcrank enough. I died three times to him. That doesn't mean I'm uh, losing this game though. <laughs> we got the build that has the late game in the bag. So there's no reason to worry. <clears throat> it's also something I'll never understand when I see Vayne players or Cassidy players say, okay, it's over, forfeit at 15 minutes. You're playing a late game hyper carry. Why would you ever forfeit at 15? That's defeating the whole point of your champion. But hey, what do I know? What? We would have gotten it had I chased with her. But at the end of the day, there was no reason to over chase like that. When we have a minion wave crashing into our tower. Right, we see Shaco, we see Bitscrank. I'm getting close to transformation here. A hundred more gold. Okay, we got three red trinkets at this point. This should be enough, shouldn't it? To deal with Timo and Shaco. Maybe we need more. Maybe I should pick red trinket too. rotate top lane. Okay, Nico got it. Good 
job. Let's just try to hold this mid tower as long as possible. Us not giving up this tower puts a lot of pressure on them. Because the minion wave constantly bounces back into their side of the map, which gives us vision for free. Drake in 15. We got no control word in the pit. But, uh. And Octurn got one in his inventory, so we're fine. If you can just keep Drake pressure. By the way, this Drake pressure is, um. Solely there because of mid lane difference. Because we got their mid tower, but they didn't get ours. Alright. We risked it like idiots. Yeah, there's no point staying here. We lost the Drake. And there's nothing to gain. We should just reset. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm working towards Death Dance for sure. Starting with the Aegis of the Legion. Armor and Magic Resist directly scale with Lifesteal. Because lifesteal is effective health, and how do you increase health? Arm and magic resists. Or how do you increase the value of health, I should rather say. So close. We get flash heal though, so it's fine. It's definitely worth it. I healed, so Lux definitely doesn't die. Not sure if it was necessary. Well, now, I'm, now I know it was not, but... Uh, in the heat of the moment. Can't really keep track of everything and um, I'd rather have her not die. <laughs> so yeah, I think my decision ultimately is still, is still uh, justified. Now I got my transformation, now I'm super strong. 24 minutes, but you know, still decent. I'm sure they're not doing Baron. Oof. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> good thing I have that cloth armor. Against the lethality build, armor is even more important. Because the closer you get to zero... Yeah, without cloth armor I would have died there. The closer you get to zero armor, the worse, because uh, lethality, increases, lethality increases your damage uh, exponentially. The more you get of it, the more the damage increase. It's not linear. Okay, why am I spamming abilities? I have it fully stacked. Uh, somebody needs to attend top lane, because nobody's doing it, and um, that's not good. It pressures our tower, it costs us gold, is gold and experience. Man, I mean, Misfortune is not the ideal split pusher, but uh, somebody needs to do the job, right? Okay, time to retreat. We can't defend this ever, because two of, them are, uh, two of us are dead. So yeah. Okay, now they retreat. Now we can actually do stuff. Okay, they're all actually buying health, except for Shaco. Obviously like to see that, because cut down, you know. 
Cutdown's like the gathering storm of the precision tree. It's so strong late game. Oh, close. Shut down? More like cut down. <laughs> Alright, sorry. <laughs> we trade one for one. And yeah, we're slowly but surely approaching the late game, which means I can start to take over. Drake in 20. We see Shaco. That's a free push. Oh wow, I didn't get the cannon. That's embarrassing. Can we get a control ward there? This is not safe. Okay. At least this time it goes right. But again, it was super unsafe. We should not have done this without knowing Shaco is out of range. I'd be down to collapse on this Echo. Okay. She probably didn't even need my help, but better safe than sorry. Another fact that we are behind in terms of mid towers makes it a little bit difficult to play. You see, they can rotate so quickly. Ooh, just enough. Probably should have done that earlier instead of focusing on minions. Almost cost us. I need to upgrade my items, by the way. I'm so rich. Perfect. Now Shaco has pretty much zero chance of ever assassinating me. Also Echo. Both of them are harmless now. Timo can be a problem with his blind. Um, Draven is super fat, so he's also a problem. But apart from that, I, the only thing I really need to worry about is Blitzcrank Hook. Nice. Okay, that heal actually was necessary. We can't do Baron because Nocturne is not um, able to fight. Maybe we can help there. Looks like we're too late. Okay. Unlucky. At least they're not doing Baron, though. Yeah, we should trap them. Unlucky. 
Question is, can we defend this Baron now? Nope. Or actually... Wow. What a mistake. I'm blinded. I can't do much. Okay. I should have flashed the Blitzcrank grab though. Slight misplay here. But I think they're too low now to do Baron. At least I hope. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe they're still healthy enough. Ah, okay, now they decide not to do They don't have their jungler as well, so naturally they decide not to do it. But yeah. This is better than them taking Baron. Yes, I could have played this better by Flash. Look at that cutdown damage, by the way. It's almost as high as my PTA damage. Let's compare that to other keystones. Okay, Timo Dakar is obviously going wild right now. Uh, my cutdown is at this, on, on the same level as Nocturne's keystone. And more than Lux's Keystone, yeah. Definitely juicy. Drake spawning. They might rush it. Yeah, okay, it's gone. Garen wants to split push bot lane and... I'm not sure where I can go safely. It's gone. Ouch. I should have went top lane. Let's push one more wave. Again, Shaco cannot kill me. Let's see Blitzcrank. Okay, we lose Baron for this, don't we? Damage. Nasty. I'm very grateful for my lifesteal. <laughs> but yeah, we need to fight as five. Lux needs to stay with us. Not die. For no reason. That's a worthy spot of a control ward, I think. Oh wow, that was so bad. Two for two in the end, though. But yeah, my ulti against a Shaco clone in fear range. What was I thinking? Most likely not much. That's a tight game. Okay, so next I get Infinity Edge, and afterwards I sell boots for Rapid Fire Cannon. And then I'm full build. Oh, they're doing it. Or are they? Teemo Dark Harvest. I've never seen a build like this with Frozen Mallet. Typically you go like Grasp or something when you go Frozen Mallet. But yeah, if we can see this build in its full glory, 
with seven items or six items minus boots essentially that'd be neat I've never actually gotten this far games typically end before that well this game might end with the next team fight as death timers get quite long but the chance is there ouch Drake and 50. Yeah, we definitely want that soul. True. Let's try and clear my ward. Control wards the pit. Oh, we actually attacked Baron for some reason. Okay. We control wards the pit regardless. Let's take this. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Yeah, they have complete control over our jungle. That sucks. Blitzcrank grab is a good tool for them in this situation. Or in this game state, rather. Drake and 10. We need to stay together. Check our bot side. They might rush it, especially now that Nocturne's base. Yeah, it's already gone. We can't approach it. We have no vision. If we go there, we just die. Ah, uh, almost got Shaco, but I got ambushed in the end. Should have walked the safe way, should have walked this path. I chose the the short one, but the more unsafe one. Whew. That game's stressing me out. This was so free in the beginning. But then I died three times for the stupidest reason ever. And now we're here. Oh well. Maybe I can still redeem myself. There's an argument for just buying GA right now, by the way. Infinity Edge is slightly greedy. Oh no. Oh no. This game's going downhill real quick. Almost got my item. Alright, let's get it. That's a big damage increase. Now I need um, 830 gold from my rapid fire cannon. I'm not going to steal from this Nico though, she needs more. One single mistake can cost the game now, we need to be so careful. Again, had we played better, we would not have been in this situation in the first place, but now we're here. Now we need to power through. It's actually a good use of this Nico passive, or active, I don't know what, what spell it is. But using the clone to detonate shrooms, I like it.
Oh, all hail death stands. That might be the game losing mistake we needed from them. Look at misfortune go. <laughs> okay, we're probably not going to see rapid fire cannon here because that's likely to be the game. We tank this. Yeah, it's too greedy. We don't have a wave there. So maybe we do see the rapid fire build. I'm a little bit nervous because Nocturne's dead and can't help. Okay, perfect. We were fast enough before Shaco comes and spoils the fun. Drake is also spawning. Oh, that's nasty. You know what else is nasty? This build. Yo, leave a like for that seven items misfortune. <laughs> Cloud Souls shouldn't matter. We're too strong. Ooh. Big boy damage. Shaco mid lane. more flash. Can we actually finish? Maybe I should have followed Garen. We don't have a wave, so the answer is most likely no. I got us back. If Timo overchases, he dies. Okay, now I should definitely stop farming. I don't need gold. But I will still take away their jungle if I can. We see Shaco. I also want to go buy an, uh, a red elixir. Yo, my Captain overtook my Presti attack in terms of damage. Clean. Yeah, let's, let's not go into the jungle. We can just push. They need to react to us, not vice versa. Okay, now we're talking. 2,000 cutdown damage. Just look at this misfortune go. That late game is disgusting. There's nothing they can do at this point. We made some huge blunders early. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you can forgive me. We still out damaged everyone in our team by a mile and cut down putting in the work against the non-tank team from the enemy. Yeah, 
The man immune build in the late game is truly disgusting. You can pick this up if you cannot finish games early, if you struggle with that, go for the late game build. This is the way to go. Um, if you want to see more man immune action, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.